So I took my hair down and everything for you guys, okay? I mean, this is the real deal. This video is the real deal. I'm Maddie, for those of you who don't know, I am the owner and founder of Maddie B Wellness, a 55 and older health and wellness resource. I've got a website, I've got a blog, I've got a Facebook group, I've got an Instagram, and if you're watching this video, you know that I have a YouTube or you just know that I post videos on Facebook. <laughs> so I have made this video a protein specific grocery haul because I wanna show you guys the protein I consume and I wanna make it a little bit more fun than it seems. Now, you might be thinking like, well, that's a little silly. Nobody really cares what kind of meats you're eating. Well, I mean, I'm gonna show you anyway. And this is just another reminder that um, protein is extremely essential to your body, especially if you're active. Here's why, here's one of two things. The two nutrients that older active adults are the most deficient in is water and protein. Okay, so that is just one strike against you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but that is one thing that we have to be mindful of. Number two, protein has everything to do with the way that you process the food that you eat, your energy levels, your bones, your muscles, your blood sugar, um, your satiety. So if you're hungry versus when you're not hungry. And most... To me, the most important thing is going back to that blood sugar. So protein is gonna help you stay steady throughout your entire day, which is gonna increase your energy levels, improve sleep, all of those things. So let's get into it. Let's talk about yummy proteins. So I went to the store and I got all my proteins for the week. Half of this is gonna go to Pablo, so I don't eat all of this. I mean, that would be that would be a lot to eat. Um, so yeah, just know that. I'm not eating every single part of this. And then real quick, before we jump into the food, 25 to 35 grams is the recommended amount per meal. So you wanna try to get 25 to 35 grams of protein, especially if you are active. And that even means 30 minutes of exercise or low impact, high impact activity per day you definitely wanna make sure you're getting in that protein. And with that, say goodbye to Luke. <laughs> and let's look at the food. Okay, so starting with pasture-raised eggs. This is just a company I've been using for almost a year. Just good eggs. I like eggs, okay? I like their eggs. <laughs> um, and since we're on the whole protein topic, I get these grass-fed and finished beef sticks. They taste delicious, I mean truly. Uh, they're soft and chewy and they're Italian style, which I love the flavor of. I got some sheep milk, milk yogurt, tastes good. I'm gonna put some chocolate protein powder in it and it has no fillers, it's just straight yogurt and probiotics. And then I also got, I've never tried this, but a full fat yogurt, so it's milk. Um, we'll see if I'm still sensitive to dairy. I haven't had regular yogurt in a long time. So I'll report back on that. And this brand, really quick, I wanna talk about. So they're from Austin. So you can get these at your local Whole Foods if you live in Austin, or you can order online. But what I like about these is they blend up a bunch of different meats. So they have, I got some ground venison, they have elk. This is a blend of liver and beef heart. I know that sounds disgusting, but organs of the cow are one of the best nutrient dense foods that you can put into your diet. So adding it in with this beef, it has a delicious flavor. I just, you know, do salt, garlic powder, and um, have it for burgers or just ground up with eggs. I got some wild caught sea scallops. To be honest, I've never ever cooked these, so this will be a first timer for me. Some wild caught cod, which is my favorite fish. And then I love a good tuna salad. So I'm gonna make, the other day I made some tuna salad and I mixed it up with some wild mackerel, which you can get this anywhere. Um, and it tasted really good. I put some mayonnaise and I don't know, just tastes like a good tuna salad. So these are cheap. Well, not so cheap, but these are. This is like $3 if you get a good sale on them and that makes a meal. So anyway, um, and then for the rest of the beef, I have a steak and then Pablo and I are obsessed with these. They're hot dogs, but made out of Kobe beef. 
and that's all they have in them is Kobe beef. And Kobe is a fatter beef, so it has a little bit more flavor than just regular grass-fed ground beef. So yeah, my protein. And sometimes it changes. Sometimes I eat chicken, more chicken than normal. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll report back with some recipes that I make, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you.